Dude, that's exactly what I wanted to play, and it played it. Hi there, my name is Trolls, and welcome to Sound Paint. In this video, we're gonna go deep into my personal piano, the 1928 Steinway Scarring Grand Piano, which comes for free with the engine. And before we get into it, I just wanna tell a little bit of a backstory for the piano, because there's some unique qualities to it that really makes it stand out. First of all, it has a very soulful sound, and that sound is coming from the original strings on the piano, the piano was made in 1928, also known as the best year for Steinway, and the strings are still original. So not all instruments age the same way, just like fine wine, some will age finer than others. But in this case, this piano was pristinely well taken care of, and it actually has a funny backstory to it. When I grew up, we had a grand piano in my living room, and it was painted green because it sounded so awful that people were just experimenting with it and being artistic, and it only had a couple of notes that sounded good. And on top of that, we couldn't afford music teachers, so I never got any formal music training. But I remember just clicking those few keys that sounded good and listening to them sometimes just fade out. They had such a beautiful chorus-like quality. And that always stayed with me, and that's the way I look for instruments today. I always look for the soul, the voice, the personality inside of the instrument. There are many beautiful modern instruments that are deep in their bases and bright in the top and all that, but they don't really have a personality to them. So when we found this 1928 grand piano, my mind was completely blown. I remember Tony and I went through 350, 400 pianos. We went through virtually every single piano store in the Greater Bay Area. And in the end, we ended up in the Steinway store. And down on the third cellar floor, there was a piano sort of scuffed in the corner and had a piece of clothing over it. And I went over to it and played a couple of notes. And I was like, oh my God, this is, this is the instrument. It had a soul that I had not heard before. It was so perfect. One of the reasons is that the piano caretaker at the store had an ear or an eye for it as well and really been taking well care of it over the years. There's just something about it, but people didn't want to buy it because it was brown. It's walnut based. And as they said in the store, about 95% of people purchase pianos as furniture not to play them. So this completely beautiful gem was hidden in the store and I was lucky enough to get it and deep sample it and now offer it to you free as well. But in this video here, I want to take it a little bit in a different direction. Some of my favorite performers across the world were kind enough to play with this piano, and you're going to see that in this video, and just get different approaches to what you can do with this beautiful instrument. It's truly one of my favorite instruments of all time, and it's one of the most used instruments when it comes to like movie soundtracks, games, TV shows, Top 40. It's used in thousands of different productions, and I'm so happy and proud to offer it to you guys for free. I think there's a soul in this instrument that deserves to just be seen and heard. And on top of that, you get the benefits of the engine as well. 127 dynamic velocity layers on every single key. No more velocity bumps or need to fiddle with CCs. Everything just works. You can even morph between microphone positions in the engine as well, which is a new feature as well. But I'll go into all of that. But I don't want to talk too much because Natalie Tannenbaum, who's an amazing pianist, actually took this and did a full review of the piano. So it's my pleasure to pass the musical baton to Natalie and have her do the walkthrough of this awesome instrument. And don't forget to download this instrument as well. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Natalie. I'm here with Sound Paint today. I'm going to be testing out the 1928 Vintage Grand Steinway Piano. I'm so excited to be playing this instrument and to explore the different parts and programs and presets. 
I'm going to take you guys through with a little bit of demonstration of each thing, as well as trying out my own sounds. So without further ado, this is the 1928 Vintage Grand Steinwave on SoundPaint. Let's go. So as you guys know, on SoundPaint, we have the different programs, parts, attack, release. So let's start out by trying out the different parts that come with this uh, 1928 Steinway. So we have staccato. Very good. Oh, well, let's see what the other mic placement sounds like. <laughs> I love that. It really does sound like one of those classic style. I actually played this instrument in person in Napa and it's such an epic instrument. The the old time Steinway qualities really shine through on that one. All right, so this is the uh, 1928 sustain. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, gorgeous. I love it. I can just play this all day. Let's try the brighter. Well, I call it brighter. To me, it's brighter. Yes, this is a... The So these are the different parts just by themselves, right out the box, that they sound amazing. I don't even have anything to say. <laughs> but let's see. Some of the cool, you know, one of the coolest things to me about sound paint is the ability to morph things together. So the fact that we have these different parts with the different uh, mic placements uh, makes me want to try this. Something like taking this 1928 sustain, but mixing it with the different staccato player mic just to see what kind of piano sound that would give me cuz i have a feeling it's going to sound like a completely different instrument let's see and it does more intimate to me. Very, very, very pretty sound. I actually want to save this because I like it. Um, what am I going to call it? Very pretty sound one. <laughs> I'm going to call it Natalie... Steinway. I already have a bunch of Natalie Steinways, but Natalie Steinway more mics, maybe? Question mark? Yeah, why not? And I'm going to save that in my custom design area, which, yep, already has a bunch of Natalie Steinways. Natalie Steinway. <laughs> All right, that's fine. Cool. So we save that and we move on. All right, so another fun thing you could do with the parts is mix them up with a different release trigger. So if you take the, let's say the sustain but then put the release trigger of the sustained player mic. Yeah, you can hear it's different. It's like that brighter when it picks up. What happens 
if you morph them. So nice. I can just play this instrument for hours. All right, so let's get on with it. Let's move on to the programs. We're gonna go into the program section. I already hearted a lot of them because I genuinely heart them. <laughs> All right, let's see what this sounds like. Let's check out the uh, banjo-like. Ooh. Let's test out cinematic piano. You can hear the dramatic pedal. It's very bright, very dramatic, as a cinematic piano should be. Very cool. Dark and soft. Let's see what that is. Ooh, I like this. A little delay. The BBD delay. Let's try a different patch. Lo-fi. Sounds like an old timey like Steinway main two mics. Okay, so this looks like 
is that combo. Kind of like what we did manually earlier. It's the sustain and the player mic. I'm hearing both. So we got May Natalie. Oh, I'm honored. Okay, so it's morphing back and forth between the sustain and the sustain player mic. A little bit of chorus and uh, plate reverb. Let's see what it sounds like with more of that. Let's see. Love this. Very, very, very cool. The back and forth is amazing. All right, let's see what else we got here. Steinway, main rain. vibe. Speaking of vibe, let's go to main VHS vibe, which says NS, which I'm assuming is Nick Samarad. This is like my uneducated guess here. But listening to this patch, it's very Nick Samarad-ish. I love this tremolo vibrato thing going on. Is that like Okay, let's see what else we got. Main vintage. Who's there? Who is there? Oof. I mean, this is, I know it's not called cinematic, but this is so cinematic sounding. I think I'm seeing a whole movie in my head. Who's there?
All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, demonstration of the 1928 vintage Grand Steinway on sound paint. I barely even scratched the surface. There's so much you can do with this incredible, incredible sound uh, library, all the different presets that are in here. Um, it's really endless, so I hope you guys take the time to explore it like I'm going to. And uh, until next time, take care, and I'll see you again. So as you can see, there's so many different things you can do with this piano. I'm gonna pass the musical baton to Rashi, who's also one of my favorite performers. This is the first time that Rashi ever played the piano, and you're gonna see her reactions being completely surprised sometimes, because she's never experienced this before. And um, yeah, just check it out. I love this analog vibe. Soundpaint also comes with something called Hidden Gems. These are additional programs that get unlocked when you purchase other Soundpaint libraries and expand your collections. I want to show you a couple of performances with the 1928 here, but also using some of our other instruments, Hidden Gems, if you will. Uh, I'll write the name of the library so there's no confusion between which ones are being revealed here.
gosh, I love this. I love this. And that's the 1928 Grand Piano. It's a labor of love, of ear love, ear worms, ear something. It's made with heart, and I hope it resonates with you just as much as it's resonated with me. One of the most beautiful qualities of it is the original strings. Every single key has a unique independent voice, and it's a soulful experience playing it. And for me, what we're really trying to do with sound paint is to create soulful instruments, something that is not just a generic like sample library, but something you feel on the keys, something with personality, something that's trying to communicate something. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. It's such a pleasure doing this for a living. It's such a pleasure to be able to offer this to you guys, and I just hope you have fun with it. Fast, furious, fun.